Hi, I'm Sam Silverstein. I get asked a lot of questions about accountability and leadership. And one of the questions that I'm asked very frequently is, why do people struggle being accountable? Well, the truth is some people do struggle being accountable and others do not. When we look inside of an organization, what we've discovered is this. In the organization where people do not struggle with being accountable, we notice that the leader is highly accountable. And in those organizations where the people do struggle with accountability, there's usually a disconnect at the leadership level. They actually are struggling with accountability. Accountability is the highest form of leadership. And what we know is that it has to start with leadership and then flow through to the people that they lead. One of the things that leadership needs to make sure that they've really taken care of is the culture. The culture of the organization must foster and inspire accountability. And that culture starts with defining it. The leader is responsible to define that culture clearly through their values. Those values need to be identified. They need to be defined. And once that is established, then you can create your culture. Now the next step is that the leader needs to model those values. It's not like in the olden days where our parents would say, do as I say, not as I do. The leader has to do the values. The leader has to live the values. The leader has to first and foremost believe in those values. And when they flow from the leader and the leader is modeling the values, then everyone sees that. The next step is the leader is responsible to teach the values to absolutely everyone in the organization, from the top to the bottom. Now maybe the leader isn't one-on-one -on -one talking with everyone in a really large organization, but they make sure that people within the organization are talking so that the model is being taught, the values are being taught to everyone. One of the best ways to teach is through stories. And when someone makes a decision and that decision is connected to a value, tell that story. Share how someone made the decision, it was connected to the value and what the outcome was. And then other people will see how they need to make their decisions based on the values. The next step is the leader protects those cultures and those values that they've established. The leader protects the culture by making some tough decisions sometimes. Yes, they may need to let someone go because the truth of the matter is, if you allow one person in your organization to not live the values, then the organization doesn't believe in those values. On a proactive sense, the leader builds relationships with the people that they lead. And in building those relationships, shares the values and inspires their people to live the values, that's another great way to protect the culture. And then the last step in designing and, and building this culture that you want that fosters accountability is simply this, celebration. Celebrate your successes. Celebrate organizational successes. Celebrate individual successes. Connect the successes to the values and show everyone how the values are taking you from where you are to where you're trying to grow and become. And when you celebrate that success and you reinforce what's happening, the culture grows in strength. When the leader is accountable first, when the leader takes the time to design the culture, model it, teach it, protect it, and celebrate it, then it becomes very easy for everyone else to be accountable in the organization. Because ultimately, they look to the leader, and ultimately, accountability is the highest form of leadership.